Hi everyone, welcome along again. Back on the thorny issues of water and the consumption that some of you are getting is a bit high and you're worrying where it's going because you can't see anything leaking and uh, you're getting a bit worried about this getting a bit out of hand. So one of the main culprits of water running that you probably don't know about, a lot of you don't know about, is the humble toy system. So, some of you these days, with en suites as well, can have as many as three WCs in your house. That's three times the chances of water escaping and running away. Back in the old days, if you had an overflow, it would run outside and you could see it and you knew you had a problem. But these days, that's unless you've got an old system set up where you've still got your overflow, it's getting a bit rare on the ground these days. You don't have overflows and the water runs into the back of the pan. Now, there's one way to check this and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So, the toilet paper. And uh, yeah, do wash your hands after you've done this. <laughs> I keep getting told about this one. Um, now look, I'm going to flush this room simply because there's nothing wrong with mine. Um, but what I'm going to show you is um, the way that the water can run down the back without seeing it, because it's not quite finished, there's still a little trickle running down the back. But this is how to tell whether you have a problem. And this is a bit of tissue and to stick it to the back there. Now, if that gets wet, then you've got water running into the back of your pan. Now, that's obviously got wet because it's, it's still finishing. So the way to check is to not flush your, top, your toilet, your WC, for a good hour, make sure no one's used it, and then get the tissue and put it to the back like I've just showed you. If it gets wet, then you've got a leak. Okay, if it's dry, you haven't. So it's fairly simple to do. So what to do? So, today, main toilet system siphons are the full lever, like this. One that's not been fitted. And as you can see, you pull it up like that, and the water bit's forced up there, drops down, and goes into the toilet. Okay, that's still a fairly popular one. And the other one, I've took the lid off this system, so you can have a look, is the push button. And when you push the button down, what you see on the top of your levers, it pushes one of these, and it flushes. See that? Okay, and then it fills back up again. So, we have two different types of siphon, and one is a lot more trouble than the other one. And as you can probably guess, the one that is, is the push button one. <laughs> um, you may have a concealed type system, and if you've got a concealed one and it's a button that you push, then it will lead on to one of these push button systems, okay? If you have a concealed system that is a lever, that you turn down, then you have one of these siphons, because that's another question I've been asked about what they've got behind a concealed unit. And that's the way to find out. A lever is generally pulling one of these up, and it's behind a concealed system. You just see an arm sticking out, or you have a button. If it's the button, it's the push button system. Siphon. <laughs> Get right on. So, there's only two ways that water can run down into the back of the pan. And one is either a problem with a siphon, or the ball cock in a system. So, it's very easy to check the ball cock if it's this type. I mean, you, you can just hold the arm up and see if it still keeps dripping. Um, but with this type, it's a lot harder. Uh, it, it drops down out of the little tube and it's very hard to see whether that is still uh, leaking or not. And also, to add to boot, there is another type of valve in here uh, that has a floaty arm thingy on it like that. And it, again, you can't see if the water's stopped or not. Um, you've got to take a chance that that's okay. So all the best thing you can do is to shut the water off um, to the system and leave it for half an hour and see if the water stops dripping out of the pan, the leak. If it stops, then you know uh, you have a valve problem and the valve is overflowing. Okay. The simplest, easiest process if it is the ball cock, just renew them. Don't even bother putting washers in, just change them okay, to whatever type you've got in there. Change it over and you know you've cured that problem. And also, if you're a bit worried, it may or may not be the ball cock, you know, you're still a bit suspicious um, and uh, you want to eliminate that and obviously change that. If it is out and you worry about I've got links I'll put up for uh, videoing valves. I've got those on YouTube already. 
More likely it will be the siphon, this thing here. Now, this old type that's been around for years, centuries, um, is generally pretty foolproof. Um, it very rarely leaks through one of these siphons. Um, it's just the way they're made, um, unless you get a leak through a seal, very rare, I very rarely see it. I know there's a hole there, but that's for a little plug to go in uh, to get uh, one litre or two half a litre levels. Um, it's missing at the moment, don't worry about that. But basically these things are pretty foolproof and very rarely leak water into the toilet pan. All right. The main culprit is this one. <laughs> if you're lucky, we can just take these out very easy. Not every one of these type of push button valves do work like this, but in general, you can get hold of them and just twist them and pull them out. That way, that is to the left. And if you have a look at it, you'll see there's a washer there. Let's get it in there. You see that? Uh, a lot of times, that will have a little hole or a little dent in it because that's all that seals and stops the water running into the pan. I mean, now that that's out and the valve's running, if you look down there, you'll see the water's running straight down into the back of the pan because this seal is no longer stopping it from going down. So you now realise that all that stops water running into that pan is this silly little washer. And that is the main culprit. So just change that or even like, just turn it upside down. Take that off and turn it up the other way and put it back on. Dead simple. I've got a video on doing this again, I'll give you the link for it. Very easy to do and pretty fail safe. Now, some of those don't always pull out like that, I'm afraid. So if you've got one of the ones that doesn't twist and pull out, then I'm afraid you've got to take the whole system off the wall and change the whole unit. I know it's a bit of a nightmare. Again, I've got a video on how to do that. <laughs> video on most things these days. But this generally is the culprit and nine times out of ten. This or the ball cock. Put it back in just to reverse what we just did. This one turns back that way. So just aim it up. So you know that it's, it's going to come back level for the for the pins to go. So just slot it in. You'll feel it go, and then just turn it back clockwise. There we have it. And scissor in. That's it now. That's all we need to do. So out. I'll show you again. And out you come. You see the two slots here. Down the back where, see them there, they've got to line up with these slots on there. That's all. You just line them up and push it in. Now put it drop there, yeah, it's felt it dropped in. It's dead easy, it drops in the slot, you can't mistake it and just turn it to where your buttons are going to be. Uh, that's it. Job done. Generally, a lot of times it is just that washer, a simple little piece. And all you need to do a lot of times is just turn it over. <laughs> Just take it off of there and turn it over the other way, put it back, job done. But if it doesn't do the job, just get a wash out. You can get them pretty easy and simple, cheap as chip, and save yourself a hell of a lot of money. And uh, a lot of water to the bargain, and the environment looks better, no water, you're not wasting water, and you save money on your water bill. So everybody's a winner on that one. <laughs> okay, that's it, I won't gonna do any more toilets. <laughs> but I've been asked about that one again. So that's it, that's how they do it, and that's what to look for. So, all my stuff, usual place, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.